Hey there, it's Mark. Welcome to Truckin' Tuesday. Even though I'm showing you a 17 Ford GT, uh, just part of the story, Jada right now, they're doing these uh, larger scale box sets, come with the character. What they really make a lot of nowadays is the Fast and Furious models. I showed them a couple times on my Off the Pegs channel. None of those are 164 scale. I think the only thing right now that they do in 164 scale are the Just Trucks. I only find these at Walmart. They might be available somewhere else. I'm not sure. But back in the day, D-Rods, here you have the 47 Ford COE. I really enjoyed collecting this model. I like flatbed trucks because then you can put cars on there and display whatever car that you want. Uh, I especially like to buy different brands of flatbed vehicles so that you can put cars on there or whatever you want to tow and this uh, this one was in wave one back in 2005 we're going back a little ways so right here is a 47 ford coe now these others d rods was just kind of a brand they had d rods and then they, they had another one mm, i can't remember the name of it it'll come to me uh dub star drop star da, da, da. i forgot it jeez oh well uh, for sale, here you have the 47 Ford COE flatbed. That's pretty cool. Had like a rustic look to it. It's been sitting out the, on the yard. I'll show you the moving features on this in just a moment. I just want to show some packaged samples. D-Rods. This one was pretty cool because I uh, uh, <laughs> definitely like this one. Christmas, you got your red and your green. I'm going to keep those. But you know, this one right here, this one was primer. They made some of these, I think, for uh, dealers to sell directly. So we were able to pick these up. Uh, you can buy these separately from dealers. This one's primer black. This one's primer gray. I have some extras. I'm going to be selling these on eBay if you'd like to pick some up. Uh, I have some loose samples. I'm going to keep those for myself. This one, however, came in a D-Rods 5-pack. It was a Walmart, I mean, Target exclusive airflow tanker, then a 31 Ford Model A, 39 Div Cruiser, 41 Willys Coupe, and 47 Ford COE. Here's a look at it loose. Very nice. Metallic blue. There's a look at your grill. They definitely had a style the D rods back in the day you know they had a designer that was doing all sorts of cool stuff but uh, Jada Toys decided to go in a different direction and so they don't make these anymore now they kind of have something like this in a larger scale let me go ahead and pull it out for you they kind of have this in their larger 124 or 118s this is the one that was in that five pack right 47 Ford COE Here's the 41 Willys Coupe that was in it. Nice white wall tires. I'll go ahead and put it on to show you. So it's a good thing. See, this pulls back. And then you can tow your cars right there. And if you're curious about the scale, you guys are probably familiar with the Hot Wheels Bone Shaker. This will sit just fine on it like that. But if you have like the Ford GT, like I might have a couple dozen hundred of them, you have to pull it out and you can put your car on there. Got to pull it out so it has room for the longer wheelbase. COE. This is from the D-Rods 5-Pack 41 Willys Coupe. 39 Div Cruiser or Divco Cruiser. It's called Div Cruiser because it's a Divco milk truck. Even though we were going to focus on the COE today. Since it came up in that 5-Pack, we'll go ahead and show you some of these. Hey, Mark, why are you showing us so far away? Okay, is that a little better? Let's go ahead and back it up so you can see so you can see all the size. Definitely love the Divco, the milk truck. Uh, who knows, I might make them a different video for the Divco milk trucks. I definitely liked it. Uh, there were certain castings that I did like to pick up. Wow, I just noticed that. Look, look at that. This one took a little beating. It's a little bent out right there. Never even noticed that. That's what happens when you put them on camera and zoom in like that. Uh, you get to see it up close. These have plastic bases. Wait, nope, wait, hold on. Metal base, metal base, metal body, rubber tires. The thing with the uh, <laughs> they like to use these, I call them rubber band tires, hardly any tread on there with most of their stuff. Mm, even nowadays, they still do that. Let's quickly, let's go ahead and get to those other two models and that five pack since I showed them. 
And I would not have normally bought these in the singles, uh, but I just wound up with them because of them being in that five pack. Pretty cool, they do have the light on top. As a matter of fact, the, uh, the 41 wheelies coupe, that one had a blue light bar on top. So, like the white wall tires. So I did not mind buying this five pack to get this model right here because it also had, it had this, it had this, this was okay. So I get a sample of the casting. This is okay. Uh, definitely like this one. This is the Airflow Tanker. And you know, if you know about uh, Hot Wheels, they have a, a model called Rocket Oil. So this is kind of in that vein, but this one does not have any moving parts. By the way, the uh, 47 Ford COE, this one right here, it's not the only 47 Ford in the Jada lineup. I'll show you another one right now. Fire Tanker. Airflow Tanker. It says Fire Tanker on the casting on the decos, but it's called Airflow Tanker in Metal Base. In the deal with Jada, I think they all use screws. So if you want to strip and repaint them, you just unscrew it and have at it. Here's another sample. This is not the... Uh, uh, this one's from the five pack. As you can tell, it was not the same as the one that's in that for sale package. So you can open it up. Uh, you know what? I did not look to see if this had a different name for the box truck. Dub City. No, D-Rods. Oh, Dub City. That was the name of the, uh, the other product line. Dub City. This one... Metal base, this thing's heavy. Metal base, metal body, and metal metal box. It's got a metal box on there. This guy is heavy. Now, I do have a couple other samples to show you. But these two, this one Pepsi. Uh, I love those rims. Red, white, and blue. This one, plastic. I think. Yeah, plastic. Not only that. This is a sticker, sticker detail on the side, which is okay because that makes this crisp. They can use lots of colors and it's perfect. Whereas this, look, minimal colors, because mm, I think this is tampoed on. I was looking for a sticker. I don't see a sticker. Pretty sure that's printed on there. So I'm okay with it being a sticker because then it looks fantastic. It looks perfect. And if you don't, uh, if you don't like caffeine, if you, if you don't like Pepsi, yeah, over in the Dub City line, they did have, uh, uh, there you go, no caffeine, 7-Up. So here you go. Love the wheels, look fantastic. I, I like the uh, chrome hub in the middle there. But once again, rubber, <laughs> rubber, little skinny rubber band tires. That's okay, it was a style. But for me, uh, that's another reason why I was selective as to which models I picked up. Uh, you know, they did have other trucks in the lineup. They had... A food truck. They also had an ice cream truck. Uh, I already showed you. Actually, I had this one set to the side. I should have pulled it away because you already seen a sample. Oh, and this one. Oh, look at that. That's pretty wild. That might be a separate video. I don't even know if I'll ever get to that. But uh, Jada did have quite a few trucks in their 164 scale lineup. I prefer the flatbed, but you know the box truck is just fantastic. And it's kind of fun to collect logo cars. So this one was pretty nice to get the Jada Co logo on there. I have different playlists. I have a Jada playlist, which will have all of my Jada videos. I have a Fast and Furious playlist, which will have Fast and Furious products from different manufacturers, not just Jada. Anyways, thank you for watching Truck and Tuesday on my Mr. Groove's channel. Happy collecting and have fun with your toys. Bye bye.